Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, April 9th, 2013. Or 14, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. It's April and I'm still thinking 13. Anyway, um, today we have the petroleum status report and then Auntie Yellen speaking at 2 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, I didn't look at any of these reports yesterday. Um, I don't think the market cared too much about them. Market was pretty much undecided yesterday. And that worked to our advantage on a couple of trades, which we'll go over in a minute. All right, uh, take a look at the futures across the oceans over in Asia. Uh, the day is pretty much done over there, and it was overall bullish except for the Nikkei and Europe today at around lunchtime at least across the Atlantic anyway is pretty much bullish and nicely so I guess you could say all right on uh, some other news on here uh, just a couple little tidbits um, that you might be interested in. So we're just going to move right on over to the futures here in the U.S. And here we have, um, looks like it's going to be a nice pop on the open to the bullish side. Gold is at 1310, yay! And oil is at 102, boo! Don't like that. You know, if you're trading it, that's a different story. But if you're consuming it, then um, that number is a little bit disconcerting at this time. So the account's doing pretty good. The Apple um, Air Call is doing good. The TLT um, Bull Put is doing good. The TLT Calendar is doing good. The CVX, this is just a... Yeah, this is a calendar on Chevron at 110. Probably not going to hit that. And then a couple of these. Then we got our regular old uh, Google. L Google has re is recovering from a negative 500. And now we're right around 270. So we're looking for that one to maybe kind of come back a little bit. Uh, gold, I did buy back that short yesterday for four cents now I'm just waiting for gold to creep up hopefully just a little bit more and then we will sell a May we have to do that before April expiration so I want to sell May before April expiration so I have to set an alert for myself alrighty uh, okay, so let's, we'll just swing right over to the A-plus list and get going here. All right, I need to get to this one. That's the one I want. Okay, and how much padding do I have in here? Well, not all that much. So we'll just want to see, so let's say up to about that date there. All right, let's rock and roll. Um... What happened to my drawing? Oh, I, I was messing around before and I deleted all drawings on Apple, which is a bummer. Can I get them back? Undo. Is there an undo? No, I thought there was. Anyway, um, the short is on Apple is at... Oops, there's that finger again. Um, get out of there. Don't want you. The short is at 527.50. So let's, I'm going to redraw that. There we go. I got it back now. Okay, so here we are. Uh, opened it right around this time of the morning. 527.50. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with Apple right now. Um, some shares traded hands at uh, 524.99 or somewhere around there. Okay, so we're looking pretty good on that one. 
Um, I wouldn't do anything. Well, I don't know, you know. When it's flat like this, you still could play this to both sides. But, but we are headed down here on the moving average, so I'm going to stick with the bearish um, direction on that. Amazon. All right, we have a nice little pop on Amazon. Maybe we're going to get something here that can move us. Delete some of these. Clean it up a little bit. So maybe Amazon is going to give us an entry. And it has to do it rather quickly, so... We will have to wait for that one. Boeing, let me go to analyze. Here we go. All right, Boeing. Wow, Boeing is um, really hanging in there. We didn't quite get the entry that we wanted here, but now we will, it looks like. So we have to be patient with that one and we'll Put a target in up here for that. I'm going to wait for that one to mature. All right. I do. Okay. Mm I do. We're in a downtrend. Looks like we're coming up here and headed for our target. All right. Let's take a look at Celgene. Nothing going on there. So, Gene, we have a target set up here, which we might be headed for as well. Next up to bat is Chipotle. All right, Chipotle. Look at this little lonely thing back here. Uh, Chipotle in a new downtrend. Uh, earnings next Friday. Gotta get the earnings video done for you guys so you can just look at some different options for earnings. I think you actually, I think your best bet is to take a direction, but we'll find out how the research comes out. But in this case, we're getting some really nice waves here, really some nice, good, solid ones. So let's, we're planning for this one to come up here. And then we'll go short. Costco. Costco also is playing out nicely. Uh, we might actually get this um, a bit early. I don't like them when they move that quick, but sometimes they do. You just uh, have to jump on them like back here. This was only two days. And boom it gave you the opportunity so that's what you have to look at sometimes all right CVX this is our calendar are we gonna get down there it's a really stretch like I mentioned before we'll see if it can work its way down there Right now we're down only 96 bucks and we have 178 or something like that, I think, at risk. It's not like the end of the world or anything. But we'll see how it works out. Okay, let's take a look at the Dow chart. I think we're going to get a little bit of a pop up today. Yesterday was relatively flat. Came down to the 50. Uh, moving average the simple moving average and is sitting right at the exponential so this might be an opportunity in DIA it's kind of a setup if you wanted to trade DIA um I'm sure it's very, very liquid. Let's see. Well, not exactly all that liquid. Uh, let's see what 
we're at 162 Let's see what we get here we get 30 cents on that with a 50 cent spread so that's pretty good at least right now pre-market and I'm sure it will look different after the market opens so that's that's thirty dollars that's not too bad I'm gonna put them on my setup list alrighty back to the risk profile yeah that's not too bad uh, Igor Igor is giving us mm, <laughs> uh, Igor might be giving us a setup here just because this move is so very long and lasted so long and it just never quite got up into our into the stratosphere here where we would like it to go but this is a pretty nice looking setup to me a little bit stretching the rules here you know it didn't even get up to the 70 line it ended up at 65.7 but because it's been so long, this little bit of a pullback is giving us an opportunity. So I'm putting it in my setup list. I'm going to put a question mark after it. Okay, FedEx. As we have that long put just sitting out there doing practically nothing. I don't think we're going to get down to it. Um, we had a setup that we took a pass on, so we're going to wait for the next one. I got a lot of junk on here. All right, cleaned up some of it. Um, so now we're waiting for the next one. Didn't uh, feel comfortable with this particular one at the time. So we'll uh, see how it works out. Okay, F5 Networks is new. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Used to trade this all the time. And we have an alert. So we have an alertable trade here. like to see it get above this high. Might as well get in there, at or above, that's good. Okay, and then gold. Where we have a possible covered call. Cost basis is 127.58. We're almost at that now. It looks like as though it may be tapering off a tad uh, from its recent surge. So I have to sell that. I'll do a 134 strike. Um, I have to do that before expiration, otherwise I just lose too much premium. So let's look and see what a 134 strike. I don't won't be doing that anymore. 134 strike for me. What's it giving us? 132. It's not even in here. Let's go to 18, 132, 134 is what it's been, around 30 cents. So this is our dividend for May. So it's paying us, in a way, a monthly dividend. So I may end up doing that today. And it's just simple, I just do that and collect the 34 cents subtract that from cost basis and pretty much we're down to even even with gold being down where it is it just takes time it's a lot of time all right so that's what we'll do with that Google. Alright, this is a alertable situation here. 
let's see how much we are trading here on Google. Well, we're doing pretty good now. Things have kind of quieted down on this and settled out. And I had a nice conversation with, uh, uh, with the trade desk the other day. I mentioned about this, so I'm feeling a little bit better about it. This is the one we'll be trading the options on. So this is alertable. All right, so an alert is going in here. Oops, I want to do that. Um, this is the high for today in pre-market, so we're just going to go a little bit above that. Throw an alert on there. All right, IWM. This is a very nice move here. I'm calling this a, an uptrend. We do have green here, and we did just dip below it. And we got um, lower highs and lower lows. I'm, I'm not sure that I would consider this an uptrend. We're just going to be patient and wait for it to come up here into our target area. Okay, link to end. We're waiting for it to come up to the target area. 3M. Uh, we have a setup on 3M. I'm still calling this an uptrend. We got higher highs higher lows. If this is a low, that would prove out. So this is a setup. Moving along here, Netflix mix in a downtrend, waiting to hit our target. Priceline uh, in what could be a new downtrend, so I'm throwing a target up here. Cues. Uh, we have a target set up here. Waiting for that one to play out. Spiders. See, we have a target up here. We, we are in an uptrend. This is a higher high. That's not a correct target. I was feeling just bearish, so that's why. Actually, we got right here. That's looking pretty good. So that's a setup on the spiders. And a nice one, too. TLT. We got a bunch of stuff in going on on TLT. And probably if we have a... Um, the indexes are bullish today. If trading is generally bullish, TLT is probably going to stall right here. So how's our calendar doing? Uh, it's at 110. Take these out. Yeah, calendar's 40 bucks, but like I mentioned, the commissions on it are a killer. So we're going to have to hope and pray on that baby a little bit. You know, if it expires out of the money, it doesn't cost me anything to get out of it. And I'm probably going to end up just as well as if I would exit it now. So I'm just going to hang in there on that. And uh, have this bull put work out for us a little bit better. Yeah, that's at 65, so we're going to probably end up with a wash overall on TLT. Yep, that's probably what's going to happen. All right, Tesla. Oh, Tesla, you are in an uptrend. This is just from uh, bullish or bearish sentiment here, but you are definitely in an uptrend. And the moving averages are proving it out. So this is alertable. And you can see already today it's going to open up. 
at least under current trades. So we have an alert on test. We're getting down there. UNP, a new member of the A plus family, which is Union Pacific. Uh, looks like we banged up against some resistance here, but it's undeniable uptrend. So we have a setup on UNP as well. So I haven't looked at their options. Let's take a look uh, at the money. There's not a whole heck of a lot in the weekly world, but there's only a 10 cent bid ask spread, so that's not too bad. And if we were to go in with a bull put at 165 this is a 250 spread and we're only getting 75 cents for that we might have to go up here we get a buck 50 so that's a dollar at risk and really needed to go up another two dollars so that's not too bad I don't know which way we'll play that and we may end up just taking it off the A plus list because it's not be, just because you know, I don't want to like go too far in the money in order to get the premium that I'm looking for we need too much of a move then and looking at what it's doing right now but we'll, we'll watch it for today definitely but um, not exactly 100% sure that this is going to be a good member for the A plus list and we'll move to Visa last but not least Visa is in a downtrend and we're waiting for it to come up here and hit our target and ladies and gentlemen that is it for today alright thank you it's a heap for watching. Have a great day and above all, happy trading.